back to the pink envelope. Y'all, this box is everything. This is the Decor Steels brand new celebration line, and this one is the Celebrate Halloween 2023. I have no idea if the outside of this box is like hints to what's on the inside, but the outside of this box is crazy. Like, let me show you the top. Like, it is super, super cool. So, of course, naturally, I'm like, please let it be an indicator of what's inside. So, opening this is full spoilers for the Still at Halloween box. This is not a subscription. You order the box at your leisure, just like the regular Still at box. It is um, $99.99, so just under $100. Shipping's $5, and if you go down to my link down there, there's a URL that you can go pick up your box. Um, these are brand new. The very first one they did was the Celebrate America box. You can watch that one up here. That one was a little different because everything was like curated for Made in USA, and they had a whole storyline behind veterans, supporting veterans, Made in America, and they really embraced the Celebrating America concept. So you'll see that one was a little more expensive at like 125. This one's under $100 and I'm hoping is another like total embracement of the Halloween concept. You know, looking at the box, I'm guessing it probably is. If you like what you see here, go fast and order it. I can't, I, I, you know, I just right when I think I'm predicting sellouts, I'm all over the place. So we've had more boxes sell out this fall than I've seen in over a year. So like in the past year, we've had a few sellouts. Fall, half of Third in Main's gone. Season House is gone. Evergreen Lane is gone. White Home Woods is gone. I think there's like three boxes left for Free Spirit Bundle. If you want to go check that out, you can go here. Move quick because those will be gone. Um, I know that there are a few of the Robert and Wallace fall boxes left. I don't know how many that is exactly, but if you're wanting to look at that fall home decor box, it's a very uh, grandma chic, coastal chic box. Uh, go up here. But yeah, boxes are just going super, super fast. So with this guy, you get seven full-size items and um, seasonally inspired on-trend pieces. I have not been looking at things. I want this to be a complete surprise for us all. We're definitely going to have to slide it down here because not only is it big, it's actually quite heavy. Okay. On top here, we have a little postcard. Now, I will tell you, they ship this box to me early and fast. So sometimes it doesn't have all like the pretty QR code stuff that you guys get because they have to hustle to get it to me. So let's see what's inside here. There is a postcard, which you can actually send because it's actually a real postcard, or you can put it up as a frameable art if you want to. And it does match the outside of the box. And then on here, oh, Halloween project, how to make cheese cloth spider webs. I love making some cheesecloth spider webs. We've made them for years and years. It has all the materials you need to get and the instructions. So the how to, and then the step-by-step, -step, including even how to dye it. That's pretty cool. Do you find yourself doing more DIY projects for fall in general, Halloween specifically, or like the winter Christmas time frame? I'm trying to think, like just now I was trying to think, where would I say I fall in that? And I think for me, it is more of whatever holiday I do a lot of DIY for is kind of like the only one. So if I don't do it like, okay, let's say two years ago, I didn't do very much DIY for fall. So when Halloween came along, I went crazy, crazy. And then the next year I did crazy DIY for fall. So then Halloween didn't get much. And I, I'm starting to realize I don't think I do much DIY for Christmas. Although, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Uh, love that they're encouraging us. And when you get instructions and specific ways to do things, right, it's always a lot easier. But I am interested here. When do you DIY? What season or holiday do you DIY the most? Oh, we have one really big box on top. Two 
really big boxes on top. Oh, that one is as light as air. That one is heavy. Okay. <sighs> Huge spoiler right here. Okay. Hold on. Let's open these two, then I'll tilt the box so you can see that. Oh, let's go for the heavy one first, I guess. <laughs> this looks super, oh, there's multiple things in here. Totally spooky. Warning, witch property. All visitors will be thrown into the cauldron for tonight's meal. <laughs> so I have to tell you, I typically am not a fan of things with words on them. However, there are specific holidays, like Valentine's another one, where words are almost necessary to make it like the best of the best. Halloween is definitely one of those holidays. I don't need anything labeled with the word fall. I don't like sayings that like fall leaves bring whatever, whatever. No, no. But this... This is on point. I love it. But below it is this guy. And this guy kind of looks like, oh, these are the stakes. So you literally can stake this into the ground right here. So that means it's outdoor proof. <laughs> love. So we got something similar to this in our uh, Made in America Celebrate America box. We got the eagle. This looks like a, a crow, a raven, a metal raven cutout. Hammer me into one of your tree branches to make sure I can see all that goes bump in the night. So I am torn on these, um, and we discussed this in the last box. I never hammered the eagle into a tree. We live in a division where we have lots of oaks, old oaks. Um, and you're not supposed to put things into oaks. There's even specific times that when you can trim them, there's all these rules because they grow into these gorgeous trees when you treat them right. So we don't hammer things in. So I just use the eagle in other places. The same thing with this. I won't hammer this into my tree. I'll just use it to go in other places. Um, very easy to prop up on a wreath. I did a wreath with the other one. Um, just to set it up. You can set it up and lean it up against something. Uh, the eagle was like super thick and hardy and heavy. This is actually a little thinner and lighter uh, for those of you who want to compare the two. All you need is a hammer to tap in this charming beauty. Just nail it directly into the tree, post, fence, or anywhere else. Pre-drill if you're using hardwood. Styling tip. You can also place the metal bird on your wall using double-sided tape. So for me, 100%, that's where I'm at. Um, it has like this little lip right here, but otherwise it's pretty flush. You could put this on a wreath, like think about like a big wreath, this going up the side, or I mean, there's a lot that you can do with it. Like they said, the, the command strip on the wall. So same thing with your eagle. For those who are like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what to do with it. They have more uses than one would think. Um, and then if you really wanna get like really tricky, you could put glitter on this. So if you did put it outside, cause this is outdoor approved and the glitter, when the lights hit it, it'd create a super spooky effect or even highlight the feathers with glitter. That was what was going through my mind. So when it goes outside at night, you don't just lose it, but you could do like a highlighting effect. So when we put out Halloween lights, <laughs> when the lights go by, you can see it. Same thing with this sign, the metal sign is made of iron. It's indoor, outdoor use. It does come with the stakes, so you can hang it. So see right here, there's, you can hang it with these, or you can put the stakes in here and put it down into your yard. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be staking this puppy in the yard because I love it. Okay, so what is in the box? It feels like there's nothing in it. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're like little bat skeletons. All right, little, little unboxer tip from somebody who unboxes a lot. When you get these zip ties like this that are so tight that scissors won't fit underneath there unless they're flat, then you can't turn them to cut. Just go get some wire clippers. Like literally will save you so much work. It, you don't have to worry about it being too tight. It is just, well, you're watching me right now, easy breezy and you won't damage your product because you can snip from the back. All right. 
Let's get our bats. Okay, there are three of them and they're made of a plastic so they can go outdoors, but I'm noticing like they have lots of ways you can hook them. Even their feet are curved, so you could hook them, hang them on a fence, you could hang them on um, shutters, you could hang them on your creepy spider web that they're gonna teach us how to make. The head also moves, the jaw moves, so you could put things in their mouth. They are very ready to be tucked and hung and put in various places. Of course, y'all know we decorate in sets of threes, so I love that they sent three black skeleton bats. Scatter us individually throughout your yard or link us together for added scares. Our heads and mouths move. I love these. I, if, the, if they were in the add-on store, would go order another 20 of these and have them just all throughout. Super spooky, super cute spooky. I like like a mix of the cute spooky. I don't like scary. I don't want anything like demonic or like crazy red eyes. Oh, no. I like like happy Halloween, like the, the, the spooky, like Casper the ghost side of things. So for me, these are like pushing it, but I must admit, I still really like them. And then this is what I want to, okay. Okay. So this is great, right? Look what I'm seeing in here. There's a cauldron in here. So we're gonna have to talk about this. <laughs> we're gonna have to talk about it. Let me get some of this out. There's something inside the cauldron. Does that not make you think of a head? It feels like there's a head in there. Okay. We're gonna get to the cauldron. Let's go here first. <laughs> like a little small part of me is like a little scared something's gonna jump out. Okay. Those are instructions to, is it a, like a ghost or a witch? It looks like it might be huge. Oh, oh, hold on. We got things flying out every... <laughs> okay, uh, the body is on the ground. I have a head of some sort right here. That was hilarious. Okay, hold on. Here's the body. I need to fluff it, whatever it is. I probably, so look, this looks like a dress. There's sleeves. I'm pretty sure that is a head I was just holding. Y'all, like this could fit me. Like this thing, legit, I could wear it as a Halloween costume. It goes to the floor. It is like my exact height. Uh, just in case you were wondering, let's open this real quick. Cause we got stakes in the ground. Assembly instructions. Okay, let's do this thing. A into B. Then we just keep going like this. Stacking them. And then this one goes on top. And this one goes like this. Okay. So then once you have this like this, it says to put it up through the middle of this guy. Gotta look up your skirt. Pardon me. So this, <laughs> this is so much fun. Goes through like this. Okay. Inset the stake into the hole of the head tightly. So I feel like, let me, I'm going to look at my email. I feel like there's something that they told me to tell y'all about this. Give me just a sec to look, because look, I'm going to put this back up here. Oh my gosh, that is so good. So good. Oh, I see a battery pack back here. Look, right here. The head lights up. Can y'all see it? It might be too tall. I'm totally gonna take this out tonight and film it. I'm gonna fluff it and I'm gonna film it with it lit up. But let me read my notes real quick because I feel like 
Decora still sent me an email about this. Hey Sam, a few of the witches that came in our samples had the head not secured to the body. So when you pull the witch out, the head part isn't nestled into the body. These are only on the samples we're sending to you early. Please let everybody know that once they receive their box, it will be fully attached, unlike the sample that we sent you. Thanks. Okay, so when I pulled it out and this wasn't attached to this, I, I got the I get the prototype. So like literally, when they're building this out, once they've approved design, those first few ones they ship to us, so we can film these boxes. So when you get yours, you won't have to worry about it being separated. Although you saw how easy it was for me just to put mine back on. It took me a whopping three seconds to do. But I thought when I saw the head, I was like, wait, I feel like I got an email about that. So I'm super, super glad we discussed that for those of you who might've been wondering. So here's my question. There's another one of these. So let's set her back here. Can she just lean up against there? Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's on a stake on the wood floor, so that might be a problem. There we go. Don't move. Let's get this guy. I bet it's a second one. I bet it's a set. This is beyond cute. Oh yeah, this has got to be like a smaller one because it's not as big as the other, that one right there. So let's see. Where the, there we go. And then this one, yeah, the head is attached. You see how it's not separated? That's what y'all's will be like when y'all get y'all's real boxes. Do the same thing and feed this all the way up to the top. First. Where's the hole in her head? No, stick the hole, stick it firmly in the hole in the head. Just had it. Come on, Samantha. There we go. Easy breezy. And voila, here she is. She also has the battery pack right there. So she also lights up. So I will spend some time fluffing these guys out. I'm gonna take them to the yard tonight and I'm gonna film some footage. I'm gonna put it right here just so you can see what these two look like because they truly are super, super cool. And there's still this whole thing in here. So hold on. We've got instructions here, metal legs. And then this guy here. Okay. I think that's it for this box. Let me slide it over. I don't mind myself a little assembly to get something awesome. Okay. Step one, unwrap your legs. Step two, unwrap your cauldron. Very, very cauldron-y. I'm loving it. It also has a liner in here. Look inside. See the plastic liner? It says, please use this liner if you want to add any liquid so it will not leak. So you could do the dry ice effect out of this. It has a base in it. Now don't put dry ice directly on that. You have to put an appropriate bowl, but you could. You could also put a plant. You could put a bunch of chrysanthemums. We got options, okay. Step one, flip your pot over. Step two, open your screws. Step three, washer onto bolt. Sit on there. I always start by using my fingers to get it all balanced in just a little bit. And then I move to this guy here. Cause I feel like I can go super fast with my fingers, but when I'm using this little, whatever these things are called, I think it takes me forever. Voila. We got our first leg. Rinse and repeat to get all three legs on your cauldron. And then just, whoopsies. You don't have to leave this in. This is only if you need water. I'm gonna leave it in just so I don't lose it. This cauldron's very, very large. So, 
we have our bird. So let's slide our bird over here by those guys. This guy, whoopsie, I'm throwing things over there. The legs screw in the back. So I'm just gonna screw them in real, like, just so you can see how tall this piece is as well. This is a box that most definitely is made to go outside. I'll look and see if this guy can go outside, but I'm willing to bet money that it can. Okay, so here is the height of the sign. It's not even in scope. So let's pretend like we stick it in the ground. You could put it at about this level next to your cauldron and it would be awesome. And you can see how tall the two witches are behind me. I mean, this guy is, I don't know, with his hat, six foot. <laughs> <laughs> huge! These items are huge. So now this is where I get super, super picky uh, quality. On everything that I am seeing and touching, the quality is great. Like really and truly, honestly, great. Um, let's look up and see where I put my phone, if we can put this cauldron outside or not. So set of two light up witches. Three hanging bat skeletons, metal cauldron with a stand. There are so many ways to style and display this 100% hammered metal cauldron. The quality is undeniable. This unique piece comes with a stand so that you can add height to your display or use the felt pads on the bottom with no legs to design it straight onto your surface. Add some bright yellow mums, or for a spookier vibe, put a fog machine with flickering lights inside. This cauldron is not watertight, but includes a pan liner should you choose to go the less spooky route and go florals. It is indoor, outdoor use and just not watertight. So everything we have here can be used indoors or outdoors. I love, love, love that, because the Celebrate America box was the same way. So we have to we have to kind of point out the obvious. <laughs> it kind of feels like we have received three cauldrons in between our spring summer box, our fall box, and this box. Now those other two obviously are just black pots, but it's kind of funny because I was calling both of those cauldrons and was like, when Halloween comes around, we're gonna be set. But now we have a real cauldron. So Hear me out. Let me go grab those pieces and let me show you what I can't get out of my mind and it makes me want to decorate for Halloween like right now. My decor stills cauldron collection. No. <laughs> but also, yeah. So, <clears throat> this is from spring, summer, 23. Fall, 23. Halloween, 23. So, if you decorate with blacks in your home, you're completely set with these. These as a set are gorgeous. I generally don't use blacks in my home. Totally not against them. I love the modern design, but for some reason I genuinely don't. So for me, these stand out a little bit more. I can see this making me shift and decorate with blacks every day more because I really do love these. And the Dorothy Jean box plays well with this. So I'm kind of getting a really good collection between the two of them. But I had called this a cauldron in spring, summer. Then I called this a cauldron at fall and now we have a real cauldron. So if it were me, I would have the most epic floral display. I would have these all set up on the front porch in different heights. You could get a bell of hay if you wanted to. Put a bell of hay, put these two on a bell of hay. Put these giant chrysanthemums coming out. And if you're not someone who does Halloween or you definitely don't do sp like spooky Halloween, these are this is gonna make truly the most gorgeous floral display, which could be your way of like doing Halloween without doing Halloween. And you even could put these cute little bat guys around because although I will admit they are a bit spooky, they're not like overwhelmingly spooky. Um, they're kind of cute as well. And you can kind of stick them anywhere. So, and look here, can I show you here? You can hang them by their feet. Like they have a bunch of different ways they hang. But you could also go super spooky with like fog machine and like like eyeballs and fingers coming out or whatever your vibe is between the three of these. I think we have the potential to create an epic display with these alone. But I wanna show you this. So let me slide, how do we wanna do this? Can I slide that kind of like that? I might halfway put that under there. We obviously have the two witches in the sign back here. 
Let me see if I can prop the Raven up just so we can see him because I want to grab a couple of items from our Decor Stills fall box and show you how epically they play with the Halloween box. Can you take it all in? So much stuff. I almost like need to strip down the wall behind us because there's so much stuff. So hopefully you can bring it in. I'll even zoom in some. So whoopsies, these pumpkins we got in our fall box are so, so cute. I love them. They are a great knockoff for the Pottery Barn version, like a great knockoff. In my opinion, the two pumpkins paid for the whole fall box. Um, I don't know if there's fall boxes left. If there are, you can go up here and watch my unboxing and try to get one. Um, I thought it really was one of their better boxes. I prefer not to get the large pieces of furniture. I don't really like cheaper furniture in my home if I'm going to invest in a table or a bench or things of that sort, I want it to be really high quality. So focusing on great decor is like my jam. This blanket came in, it's a washable blanket, it's gorgeous. This is from a, a few seasons ago, I actually can't even remember. Um, but the fall box plays epically with the Halloween box. You can see the blooms over there, that touch of purple, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Also for those of you who may not be big Halloween people who got this box, you do not have to show the faces. If the faces are not your jam, you can turn them around up against a wall or a hay bale or put flowers and nobody's even going to know that they have the jack-o'-lantern face. They are, um, the designer when she designed it, intended them to be able to be used by people who celebrate just fall or people who do fall and Halloween. And I didn't do that in my last video. I didn't point out the versatility there and there were a few of you who are concerned. You really can hide the jack-o'-lantern faces really easily. Decor stills, <laughs> you did it again. Um, I'm gonna go out, go ahead and say it. This is a $125 plus box. Like if they would have put the same 125 price tag on this Halloween box, I wouldn't have batted an eye. So the fact that it's under 100 is, in my opinion, a pretty stellar deal. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I forgot. I don't remember which boxes came in, but it's a past season. I don't even know if it was in 2023. But I guess the point I'm proving is the boxes build and play well together. Even though it's not a subscription uh, between the Decor Stills, Stills site and the Still It boxes, you can build out some of the most epic like whole home displays without even going to another website. It can all be found on Decor Stills. I haven't ordered a lot from Decor Stills. I am just edging it on that side. The, bro the box is what brought me in. I knew they released the box. I started filming unboxings for that and now I'm slowly my slowly making my way over to the evil side <laughs> and getting the daily steals. If you have if you do daily steals, like you have snagged them, you've gotten them in and you've been able to attest to the quality, comment below and tell us is the daily steals that they email us are those products as good as the home decor box? Cuz the home decor box products are pretty great. All right, you guys, I could keep you here all day. I would love to take this ride on outside and start decorating, but it is 102 and my neighbors already think I'm crazy. So I think I'll just continue to play inside here, but um, soon, soon we're gonna be doing a full Halloween decorate with me. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Uh, fall decorate with me will be coming slightly before that. Hopefully I can even film it maybe this week. We're getting a cold front and it should get down to 91. Maybe I'll do it then. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe to my channel, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye, y'all.